the whole movie. There's some nude people in there. <laughs> Where? Yeah, Where? actually, with the cloak is underneath Anne. Yeah. Come on, Hubert, full front for the camera. Oh, jeez. Hubert's a cloak. Sneaking up with me. Hubert's a gaze, right? What? Better get used to this, what? You're a celeb. Hi. I think we need to paint in the back of this. Yeah, get up here. Lovely and festive. The foundation. I do, you know. And he pins about. Oh, we are. Jack and Sunday. Sunday. You're happy to jam and Sunday. Smile, and the camera. Anybody got a pin? Hold on, stop rolling. I haven't got my makeup on properly. Let me get my makeup on. We must do before and after. Ah, before and after. Yeah. Just, just hand the mic. That's probably not going to push me. Another time, we'll go back to the plant. Who's trying to murder both the red? <laughs> 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 oh. That was Captain Man's film. Yes. <laughs> Man is just a goddamn slave. He's a bad for himself. Come and get me, Jane. He's such a bad guy. Come on, come on. Fella, John, you're supposed to be after the girl. No. I used to go there and hide with my bag. I met this fella and he said, Do you want me to bring the tie up? And I said, No. And he said, No, no, just wear it. I do this before. Yeah. Well, you yeah. see, it's like that. Yeah. 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 And it's you can oh, stay there, huh? Oh, we don't expect too much. Well, thank you. Don't do that to my Oh, look at this stains. now. This is like, this is a pink me thinking. Yeah, it's a first. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Me thinking? Yeah, yeah. 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 Is, is this on camera? Yeah. 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 We actually have this yeah. caption yeah. on camera. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. ever, I'm thinking, yeah. Huh, huh, huh. I'm going to make sure you have a picture of the camera. Could you have a ponytail tonight? I think Lear is in a ponytail tonight. I don't think Lear is in a ponytail tonight. Please stop pinching your cheeks. What? No, leave it alone. What? That's beautiful. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. Yeah,
areas all around uh, clear, right? That's for the arteries and the arteries. So try to keep this area that's clear now as clear as possible. But other than that, stand up, move around, find another seat and enjoy the show. Oh, one other thing. The, all the music for the show has been done uh, originally from one of the members of the cast, Paul Butler, and also with Coda McCarthy, and they have a group of people called The Legend, and the cassette is for sale after the show for $2.99. So we hope you all enjoy the show. Thanks all for coming. And well This is a story from times long ago, from the days of myth and legend, sorcery and magic, or from the age known as the Tua Day Banner. There were many historic invasions of Ireland in that time, and many tales that we could tell. But one of the most beautiful, also one of the saddest, is the story of Lyr, the sea god, and his children. Bob the Red was the ruler of that time, and Lyr refused to serve under anyone but himself, and so secluded himself in another part of the country called the Hill of the White Fort. Many years passed, Bob decided the time had come to make peace with Lyr, and so invited him to his court, hoping Lyr would also choose one of Bob's beautiful daughters to be his wife. Lear, also weary from the conflict, accepted the offer and chose Bob's eldest daughter, Eva, to be his wife, believing she too must be the wisest. Shortly afterwards, they were married and Lear and his wife, Eva, returned to the White Fort. Soon, Eva gave birth to twins, Fanula and Aid. The children grew up strong and happy, spending long hours in the country playing in the woods and swimming the lakes and seas. The children were full of laughter and gaiety until one day. Children, are you here? Where are you? Fanula, Aid, it's Mecca. Can you hear me? Aid? Is that Mecca's voice? Mecca, over here. Where? Here, look over here. Oh, children, they must return to the house immediately. Hurry. What's the matter, Mecca? What's on the fuss about? I'll explain as you go, but we must start now. Is it our mother, Mecker? Is she sick? What's wrong, Mecker? You must go by yourselves now. I'll wait here. Father, what is it? Is mother... Shh, my children. This is a very special chamber. This is the place where the people of our race go when they feel they are new to the time for resting. There's a room like this in every fort. What is resting, Father? The human people can call it death. Father, we're the Danon, we're immortal. Although we are immortal today, we need to rest for very long periods of time, sometimes lasting thousands of years or more. I suppose you might say this is a sort of death. Father, it's better, isn't it? Here she will stay until she wakes, but she will be watching over you. She told me before she slept that if at any time in the future you are in any great danger, you need only call upon her, and she will be there. You may kiss her for the last time. Oh, Mother, please don't leave us. Please, Mother, Co please. Come, my dear. It'll be all right. Goodbye, Mother. Children, look over here. Before your mother came down to this room, she gave birth to twin boys, and she wished they'd be called Faith and Con. Go now and see your brothers, Fanula. For you must take care of them as your mother would, and Aid too. Fanula and Aid, you must protect your little brothers. The two little boys grew up strong and wild, always getting into mischief. <laughs> spending long hours playing in the woods, climbing trees and chasing rabbits. Lyr was alone again, and he greatly missed Eva. He spent his days in his kingdom under the seas, or riding the waves to distant places. The fort was not well kept, and although the children were busy and happy together, they often missed their mother and father around the house. The children's grandfather, Bob the Red, was sad for Lyr. Seeing him so unhappy and hopeless, he decided to invite him to his court for a party, hoping Lyr might take a fancy to his second daughter, Aoife. Aoife was also very beautiful, with long black hair and shimmering clothes. And perhaps it was because she resembled her sister so much that Lyr became attracted to her. Lyr stayed at Bob's court for several weeks and spent most of his time in Aoife's company. They would take the children on picnics on the banks of the river or climb the mountains and often Aoife would amaze the children with her magical powers. All right, children, what might you do today? Perhaps I could turn Fanula into a frog. Ah, Fanula into a frog? Oh, yes.
Jesse, but that's a great idea. Having a pogo with a stick until she jumps. No, definitely not. How about we turn Khan into a scarecrow? No way. Let's turn Fear into a potato and cook him up. Come, come, my children. We love you the way you are. Anyway, <coughs> Eve has something on her mind, I think. On the morning star, on the night, into cotton daydream. It's snowing our hair tonight. Wow, it's snowing! Aoife, you made it snow. It's in my hair. Do more, Aoife, do something else, make it rain. That's silly, fear. We'll all get wet. Come on, children, we must get going. I think it's getting late. Yes, we've been on the way back by four in the morning. Are you coming home with us, Aoife? I'm not sure what your father is me. Oh, say yes, Daddy. Children, Eve and I are to be married. She will be a new mother. Hooray, hooray. hooray, hooray. We must hurry back, children. It's getting late. The Lord went well in the new household back at the white board. There was joy in the house once more. The weeds in the garden were pulled. The floors and furniture polished and clean. <laughs> there was a sparkle about the place. But it didn't last very long. For Eva was not satisfied. I can see dark clouds descending over white, twisting shadows block the light. But children, when I have any. No, I'm sorry, my dear, but you will never have a children of your own. What? Never? You need not much forever. Thanks to my sister's children, I should tell my own. No, that can't be. I want children of my own. It's unfair. It's so unfair. Every time I see Fanuna, she reminds me of my sister. I can't take that. I just can't. From this moment on, Eva began to change. Her attitude to the children grew mean and hostile. She scolded them for every little thing. There was no more fun and games, and the children kept out of her way. She could not bear to be near them or her father, and she spent long hours asleep in her chamber and planned her revenge. <laughs> Can't get me! 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 can not Boys are singing and dum de dum de dum. Children, <laughs> I haven't seen my dress lately. I'm a bit out of character. And just that, I keep remembering your mother, my sister's death. It makes me so sad. Oh, I just can't have seen her face all around me. I'm sorry, Mother. Anyway, I can find that dear. The girl took it to Grandfather Bob. I'm sure she'd love to see you all. Now, what kind of fear? They're playing in the trees. Shall I fetch them, Mother? Yes, Ed. And so, Nuna, will you ask my to prepare a picnic? And I am summoned my shirt here to get the horses ready. And we we'll need back here in one hour. Okay. This is a very sudden change for me, lot. I'm suspicious. I know, Ed. But go and see your grandpa. It would be a great surprise. I think I can tell Mecca about our little journey. Go fetch the boys, eh? I'll meet you here, Gato. Yeah. Kedora! Yeah, Gato? Over here! Listen, I heard everything. It's very strange. Nice is probably one minute, sour is the next. I don't trust her, Mecca. I'm not sure I trust her either, Kedora. It's too sudden. 